college game, you just scored a career high 36 points in a losing effort against what everyone has been saying is the team of the century. It's got to be bittersweet. No one gave you a chance, and you almost pulled off the upset of all time. What are your emotions right now, Duke? You know, I missed the shot. This is my family. And I, uh, I let him down. And that's all there is to it. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Saw you at Dykeman tonight. Those were grown men. Good players. Season, a couple of them played D1. Held your own. That's the real game, right? Outside the gym. You follow me out here? Let's just say that I'm in the city a lot and we just happen to be there at the same time. <laughs> you can play. Your footwork and floor spacing needs a bit of cleanup. But... Yeah, I told you I'm a football player. Yeah, you're a senior now. And I told you I am a football How many D1 player. football offers you got so far? Tough. Committed. Plays the game the right way. You're a great player. But great isn't special. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, coach. That's your pitch. Trash, get in the job. Start a pitch. Still open. Stoudemire, Duncan didn't play organized ball until they were 14. Steve Francis was 16. Giannis was playing soccer until someone wised up, probably gave him the same speech. And now he's an MVP. Okay, so what, coach? I mean, I'm not just some charity case you want to help out. What's in it for you? Wins. I have a lot of good kids, and it's special. I'm special. Your natural ability is, yes. Look, if I play basketball again, it starts all over. Those questions. It becomes about him again. It's never been just me, it's always been us. They stop running and taking on. When we first met, you told me how you loved New York, bled New York. You wanted to be part of a big world. This is how you get it. Maybe football is your game. I mean, you play like you're trying to run your head through a brick wall. <laughs> nah, this game ain't for you. This game's all about nuance. Subtlety, son. Paul Frazier, Bill Russell, MJ. Hey, what about LeBron? He was a football player. You ever seen that man pass? That's the beautiful game right there. Yo, Duke, great to see you on the court again, baby. Yo, we saw you win state. Brick City for real, son. Thank you, appreciate y'all. See that, son, right there? That's what I'm about. What are you about? Right now, this is a rebirth. 
We are only as strong as our belief in each other. Yeah? Yeah. All right. All right, let's go now, Breeden. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. I said, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Eagles. Eagles. Junior, just a second. No pressure here. All you gotta do is be better than me in my first game. Yeah. Right, so what happened? Just aim for more points than turnovers. All right, and you'll do fine. This is your moment. Nice job. Let's go, baby! Hello, everyone, and welcome to this broadcast of Garden State IAA Basketball. I'm Joe Lamy, joined by Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. We can't wait to get another season rolling, and we look to get a great matchup to kick things off. Well, a classic matchup with the Newark East Eagles playing host to the Burton Hornets. Both teams looking to improve on their final positions from last year. A win tonight would be a great step towards that goal. Bobby Erickson leads the way for the Hornets. They go against go. an Eagles team with quite a few new faces. Still, though, Newark is led by senior K.J. Day. And the crowd will be a factor here for the Eagles. This is the type of atmosphere you love to see at the high school level. New year and a new lineup. Day, the team captain, he'll now start at the two with newcomer Junior playing the point. Lack and Zadirko fill in at the forwards, and Marceda steps in to get the start at center. And the Hornets come in with their usual lineup. Luan and Dermanenko are in the backcourt. Star forward Bobby Erickson begins the game at the three. Ramadas and Eslanoglu fill out the four and five spots. Well, seeing Junior out there, you can't help but think of his legendary father, Duke. One of the biggest names in the area. And Duke, a star here at Newark who went on to have a great run at the collegiate level. And to call Duke a high school star doesn't even begin to paint the full picture. Everyone from that era knew who Duke was. I'm sure they're ecstatic to see what Junior can do. He's off on the second. Like a lot of players from Newark, Junior plays with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. He's out to prove there's just as much talent in North Jersey as there is across the river in New York. Dermanenko covered by Junior. Pass to Erickson. First quarter of play, about a minute played. Nice D from Dave Zadirko. Deflected. And that's out of bounds. Newark East will retain possession. Ooh, and a dangerous pass that almost turned into a steal. It would have been a great defensive play. Can't fault the effort. Here's Lack. The shot from the low post is good. Well, the Eagles looking to get some great production from their guard, K.J. Day, this season. Now a senior, he has all the tools to lead the charge and be the spark for this offense. And here is Porter. On the wing, Bobby Erickson. Here in the first, and a little over a minute and a half gone by. That one's in, his first basket of the game. He's one of two. And with Day, he's impressed as a junior. You just love the way he brings it on both sides of the ball. Absolutely, Joe. Day isn't just a scorer or initiator. He's a pest on the defensive end. Day's versatile enough to fill any role at either guard position when his team has the ball. Offensive rebound, and Day gets it to go. The team captain, Day, setting a strong example for his squad. He chases any opportunity to keep this play alive. Got a piece of it, and a foul called on Junior. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Dermanenko, covered by Junior. Germanenko outside. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. From deep three-point range, drills it from deep. Well, coming into this season, Coach Bishop a bit on the hot seat. 
Eagles fans want to see a better finish than years past. And that might have been a reason Coach Bishop tried to shake things up by bringing in some new faces. Not much to lose as he's in dire need of a great season. One of the many reasons Junior's teammates appreciate him. He's an unselfish player who likes setting his guys up well. Time called here as the Hornets decide to talk it over. Changes for Burton. Substitution. Substitution on the court. Set it up, set it up, bring the play in. Here's Junior. Quarter number two, just over a minute into play. Burton in the lead. Pass to Porter. Back to Dermanenko. Porter, covered by Junior. Ramadas outside. Over Zadirko, and he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. Well, you have to love the charm of the Newark East Gym. The facility might not be top of the line, but it has a lot of history for the Eagles. And there have been talks about getting a new gym built on campus, but that's something that's a decade away on the school board's agenda. As you said, this gym just fits with the legacy of the Newark East Eagles. Let the big man eat down there. Once again, Marseda has the positioning he likes, and the rest is history. We're around two minutes into this second quarter of play. Dermanenko outside. Floats one up. Scoop to the hoop and in. Dermanenko taking what he sees on the offensive end of the floor. Nice job capitalizing from this area. Outside, Black. Zadirko. Here's Junior. And it's Dermanenko with the rebound. And here's the break. Here's Levesque. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Nice job in transition. And it's just easy offense. So hard to find those types of hoops. Get them whenever you can. Inside, here's Lack. Good, and the assist goes to KJ Day. Textbook play by KJ. The Eagles play so well with their floor general out there feeding them. Outside, Erickson. Three-pointer. Second chance shot. And it's Ramadas missing. And you look at the play style of Bobby Erickson, very much a modern wing who can play off the ball or initiate things for this offense as well. And Erickson might be lined up out on the wing, but he'll do pretty much everything you ask of him in this offense. Coach figured out very quickly this team is at its best when Erickson has the ball in his hands. Have to respect Dermanenko's desire to score the ball. It's what makes... And so here's Burton. Four-point game. Throws it up high. Porter guarded by Day. Levesque with it. Pass to Erickson. Trying his luck from deep. The rebound by Dave Zadirko. Now the Eagles with it. Left side, Lack. Day. Here's Marceda. It's tipped. They retain possession. Junior outside. Tries again. And it's going to be two free throws through the contact on the shot. That's it. It's on Joe Levesque. Important for Junior to learn how to draw calls just like that. That kind of toughness and savvy will serve him very well going forward. Junior. No good on the second, so he hits one and two. 
No doubt the star of this Burton squad is Bobby Erickson. He's a gifted scorer and playmaker, and he's been with the Hornets for quite some time now, and he's been the star. And Dave Zadirico with the block. Pass to Dermanenko, back to Levesque. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Second shot chance. Erickson, and at last they get one to fall. That one goes down, but offensively just one for four to start the third quarter. Newark East trailing. And with Erickson, guys, you see his release, and you know immediately he's a terrific shooter. He's going to have no problems putting it on the floor as well. That's true. I mean, Erickson plays bigger than he actually is, and that helps him finish on the inside. Colleges have shown a lot of interest in him since his breakout performance his sophomore year. He'll most likely be transitioning to shooting guard when he gets to that next level. Outside Levesque. Outside Erickson. Another shot, and no problem for Ramadas as he finishes at the rim. They've been the glass eaters today, guys. A ton of effort out there on the low post. And they've needed every one of those rebounds. It's what's put them out in front. Pass to Marceda. Not going to go that time. And the last few seasons, the Eagles haven't had an easy time finding wins. For a while, it seemed you could always count on the Eagles to be at the top of this conference. That hasn't been the case lately. Hopefully, Coach Bishop has found the talent he needs to get his program back to the top. Here's Junior, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, and will shoot two. Not fearing the contact. This is Junior's mentality. He welcomes aggressive defense on the way up. He hasn't capitalized on any of his chances at the line, only making one free throw so far. And a new group getting ready for the Hornets. Now Carter. And stolen by Junior. Pass to Mason. Yes, and it's Junior picking up the assist. Awesome work in close from Mason. Sensing an opportunity to score and going for it. Out to the right wing. There's Leftos with the three. Gets the three ball to go. That's strong, fundamental basketball. Getting the ball where it needs to be. The drive now by Junior. The second chance effort. The shot, no good. Great defense that time from Leftos as Lonaglu. Outside James. Carter, he's covered by Sheffield. Back to Carter. Outside James. Pass to Carter. Luan. Now Leftos. He's guarded by Marceda. Pass to Lanaglu. Can't hit it. And with Junior, you don't want to only talk about who his father is, but it's a shadow. He'll be under as long as he's on the hardwood. It might be the reason why Junior didn't immediately take to basketball as a sport but the similarities in their games are already apparent. Junior looks to be just as talented as his dad was, even if he's a bit raw. To the middle, Romanos, and the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Great job seeing the floor, as Wanaglu is more than capable of spotting the open teammate. Here's Junior, offensive rebound. Shots good by Mason. Work hard on the offensive glass, good things happen. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Outside Luan. Pass to Ramados. The shot's good on the assist from Michael Luan. When they've needed a bucket, he's provided it. Down low. Here's Marceda. Marceda. And Eslanagu pulls it down. Here's James. Sweet little floater. Well, their inability to clog the lane has led to some easy looks. Sometimes these body blows will wear you down defensively. We'll see if they can regain the energy later in the game. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two here. Junior already understands how to force defenders into awkward spots and draw calls. Intelligent and aggressive at the same time. And that's good as he hits both that time. Pass to 
pass to Leftos. There's the rejection. Check out Mason's awareness on defense. He tracks the ball as it's going up, is ready, and waiting with an authoritative block. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. The Hornets up on top. They're up by nine. And after the break, we'll be back with the fourth quarter of action. The big three are still... And here we go. Fourth quarter getting started here in Newark. It's still... So both teams making some changes here. Substitution on the court. Kennedy, he's guarded by Dermanenko. Pass to Junior. Kennedy. Erickson with the steal. And they're running. And the Hornets and their roster, they aren't scared to play small if they need to. Looking at the rest of the division, the Hornets are one of the smaller teams overall. They just don't have that many big bodies in the program, but they know how to make up for it with defensive rotations. Don't be fooled. This team is still deadly, albeit a tad undersized. We're just over a minute and a half here into the fourth quarter of play. Here's Junior, and stolen by Levesque. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Erickson, good. Hornets shooting guard Dermanenko with a clean feed. He seems to have a great sense for offensive ball movement. Here's Junior. Soft touch off the glass and in. Here's the Hornets with the ball. Now Leftos. Beautiful time for the lay-in. And they have no answer for them inside. As long as the defense continues to be absent, this is what they can expect. To the inside. Zadirko gets the bucket. I like that Zadirko is never afraid to use his physicality, willing to do whatever it takes to get to his shot. Pass to Levesque. Here's Porter. James Marcedo with the block. They shoot again. And that one's good for Porter. And looking at Junior, the senior is exactly the type of guard the Eagles needed for this season. Absolutely. He clearly is a plus athlete. And even though he hasn't spent too much time perfecting his skills, the pedigree is there with who his dad is. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's Levesque. Dermanenko outside. Pass to Leftos. Outside Levesque. Back to Porter. Pass Lana Glue. Outside Levesque. Five on the clock. Here's Porter. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. That's on Zadirko. Second team foul. At the line for Burton. Steven Porter. Take a break. Take a break. Taking two, two shots. shots. First free throw is good. And so he makes both at the line that time. We've played just over three and a half minutes now into this fourth quarter. Pass to Marseda, and that's out of bounds. Newark East will retain possession. Now into the lineup for Newark East. Thomas Brothers, Michael Kennedy, Dan Indra. Substitution on the court. To the paint, Brothers misses from short range. He makes a courageous attempt to get inside, but the defense forms a wall and he can't get past. Outside Levesque. Pass to Carter. Levesque. Indra defending. Here's Ramadas. And here's Carter. Poked away. Five to shoot. 
and he gets it to go. Time to turn out the lights on this game. Oh, I think the lights are out. And give them a ton of credit for the job that they've done here today. And that one's good for Junior. Outstanding work there, figuring out how to score on the D. You see the muscle Junior possesses. Burton has possession. They've given up just eight points here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Levesque. Over Brothers. And it's Levesque missing. Come to me, come to me. Outside, Indra. Brothers. Kelsey with the rebound. Now here's Levesque, covered by Junior. The game comes to a close and Burton is able to steal one here in Newark. Great effort from the team as they were led by Bobby Erickson. To come in here and get a road win to start the season is a huge boost for this team's morale. An early statement win for the Hornets against a much improved Eagles side. And even though the Eagles didn't get the win they wanted to start the year, they have to be encouraged about how the team looked on the floor. There are a lot of positive takeaways from this game. That'll do it for us. On behalf of Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger, I'm Joe Lamy. We hope to see you again for more Garden State IAA hoops as the season gets underway. Thanks for joining us. Yo, hey, <laughs> who's got skills? No kid, tough game tonight. Don't worry about that. Hey, wait up. Wait. Whew. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm, uh, I'm Archie. Hmm. Archie Baldwin. So Dad and I were teammates. Ah. Uh, yeah, I think you sound familiar, but I don't know. I was a kid when he still playing ball, so. <laughs> Boy, he loved you. <laughs> Talked about you all the time. There was one story about a, a, a purple jumper. You had to wear this thing every day. If you did, you would just Great. cry. Nice to meet you, Archie. Hey, I'll get right to the point. Upside, off the charts. High basketball IQ. Strong motor, and you understand tempo. There's a package deal. Easy sell. Sell? To who? You talking like scholarship? Yes, sir. Is that something you think or something you know you can do? Next one, you show me what you got, bring me some high numbers, win, and then we'll talk. But your first game, you learn from it. Wait, you said, uh, Archie, right? Yes, sir. Archie. Junior. Good to see you, Junior.